Why, hello, everybody. Welcome to week four here in juvenile justice. Um, we've only got one more week after this, so the semester's almost over. Uh, but the good news is you all got the, you know, I guess the most time-consuming portion of the course done. Uh, you alls research papers were excellent, uh, very good presentations. Um, you all will have the opportunity to see everybody's presentations because there's only three in the class, so when we do the video presentation, uh, you'll be watching everybody else's. We'll get to that shortly when we get to the uh, this week's material. Uh, the other thing that was last week is the second exam. Um, everybody passed, so that's good. Uh, we've got a very good class average. I'd love for all of my classes to have uh, such a high class average. Um, I'd like to have more students in the class, but uh, you know that kind of goes with summer courses. So with that, let me get out of the way. We'll talk about what we've got new this week, um, and we'll look at... Uh, chapter 12 on delinquency uh, prevention. Uh, we're going to be looking at chapter 13 on juvenile justice then and now. And then we'll be looking at chapter 14 on uh, police work with juveniles. So those three different chapters uh, for all three of them, and you'll have to do them in order. Watch the video, read the chapter in the book, take the quiz, um, take it again until you make a 100, but at least make a 70 so you can move on. The majority of the students in this class have all made 100s on the quizzes, which is great. A couple of y'all haven't. Um, I noticed there was a one student that's like a half a point from the difference between an A and B. If that's you and you didn't make 100 on all your quizzes, go back and take them because you'll, you'll pump that back right up. Um, and um, again, you'll also have to participate in the discussion. Um, complete the original on all the discussions. Please remember that part of the discussion is to indicate what you found most interesting about the chapter. So a lot of you aren't doing that, and that's worth 10 points on your grade, so be sure to do that. Just one sentence or you know, two sentences about what you found most interesting. And then we've got the third exam. Um, keep up the good works on the exam like the previous time. Um, let me get down to the, uh, the follow-up post for the previous chapters. That's the other issue. Not everybody is doing three substantive follow-up posts, um, and, it, and again, that's costing you. So just find three different terms. They, they can be from one student. They can be from two students. They can be from three different students. Uh, but whichever in them, be sure you put your term, you know, the term that you're talking about, what their answer is, what your answer is, and which one you think is right, theirs, yours, or if they're both right. So that's that's what's needed for that. And again, it's three. They don't have to be the same person. They do have to be in separate posts, um, but they don't have to be from the same person. So just, you know, do three different ones. And now the uh, the addition thing that's different this week is the video pres presentation discussion. If you uh, click on here, you will find everybody's presentations. And I said there's only four of you, so it's it, uh, kind of, you kind of have to watch everybody else's. You'll watch the videos. Um, they're all under 10 minutes, I say. One of them was a couple seconds over 10 minutes. Um, but you watch their video, and then you will pose a question. So you just click on the, the video. Uh, it will come up in the screen eventually. And then you click and watch it. And then you will decide what question you want to ask. You'll hit reply, and then pose your question. So, again, three questions from three different videos. Um, they'll be worth 25 points each. Then the following week, the final week of the semester, you'll have to answer any questions that are asked. That will be worth the other 25 points. So you should have three questions asked. Shouldn't, shouldn't take a whole lot of time to do. So let me move this out so I can hit cancel. And, um, you know, just... Um, I think you should enjoy the videos. They all seem very good. Um, you know, it was um, kind of an interesting thing to get the presentations of the videos, uh, and um, I, you know, I always enjoy it. I, I like when we did them on campus, but especially for the summer program, that's just kind of hard to get everybody here. But when COVID hit, I started doing them all by video, and, um, you know, I think that works out well, too, because you get to, you know, um, you get to watch everybody's video and you do get to ask questions. Well, that's all I have for you today. 
Um, if, uh, like I said, if we were, we're right at the end of the semester, just keep up the good work and, uh, you know, everybody should do well for this semester. If you haven't registered for the fall yet, fall registration is open. Uh, be sure to do so. And the, um, I think they got everything fixed. Uh, they had some issues with the uh, course evaluations. Uh, please log in, get your course evaluations. I said they were sending emails out to all the students. Um, they had some kind of glitch, but uh, got an email again yesterday that that's been fixed. So please do those. Actually, we do look at those and find them uh, very informative and have made over the years many different changes based upon things that are in there. And also, there are things that can't change, you know, like adding time to exams and so forth because of the, the nature of the uh, open book exam. Well, with that said, that's all I've got for you. I will talk to you later.